What is Itikaf? Itikaf is considered to be a type of spiritual retreat. During the last 10 days of Ramadan, many Muslims spend their days and nights at the mosque in order to ensure that they are there for whichever night Laylat al-Qadr occurs. This is called Itikaf. Literally translated, it is an Arabic word that means to isolate oneself and to stick or adhere to something. There are three types of itikaf. Sunnah, this is the itikaf performed during the last 10 days of Ramadan. Nafi, itikaf can be performed on any day or night of the year. This is considered to be a nafi, voluntary, act. Wahib, if you have made a vow to perform itikaf, then it is compulsory, wahib, that you do so. This could be making a vow to Allah, such as through niyat, intention, to perform itikaf or a vow based on a condition. This means saying or thinking, if this thing happens, I will make itikaf for a certain number of days. Whosoever for Allah's sake did even one day's itikaf, Allah would keep him away from Jahannam, hellfire by trenches. The main purpose of itikaf is to remove yourself from distractions and focus solely on the worship of Allah, as Allah created us to do. Renewing your relationship with Allah Itikaf is a time to renew your relationship with Allah without the distractions of daily life. It is like a spiritual retreat to renew and energize your soul. In fact, another purpose of itikaf is so that you may fall in love with worshiping Allah such that you will carry that feeling with you once your itikaf is over. In other words, it helps to strengthen your faith in Allah and helps to further perfect your worship of Him. The heart is the core of deeds. The core of all deeds is the heart. As the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, in the body there is an organ, which if it is sound, the entire body will be sound. And if it is corrupt, the entire body will be corrupt. That organ is the heart. In this hadith record of the traditions or sayings of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, the message speaks of the heart as being the core of all of our actions. This world has many temptations, trials, and tribulations. It can influence the actions of our heart. Itikaf allows you to take a time out from the world and focus on constant worship of Allah to remind us that we are here to worship and please Allah. It helps us keep our heart good and on the straight path as we go out in the world. Itikaf can help one to strengthen one's shield against the tricks and temptations of shaitan, evil spirits. As narrated by Abu Huraira, the Prophet used to perform itikaf every year in the month of Ramadan for 10 days. And when it was the year of his death, he stayed in itikaf for 20 days. He who observes the 10 days itikaf during Ramadan will obtain the thawab of two hajj and two umrah. What is the time and duration of itikaf? There seems to be varying opinions on the time and duration of itikaf, depending on which school of thought you follow. For Nafi and Wahib Itikaf, it is agreed that the duration depends on your intent and can begin at any time of the day, or night, or both. So if you plan or vow to Allah to be in Itikaf for one day, then do so for one day. If for two days, then do so for two days, etc. Some scholars say that if one cannot do the entire 24-hour period, then it is permissible for a person to make the intention for the set amount of time for itikaf. For the last 10 days, you can do it for an hour or more depending on your availability. Limited time special offer for Laylut al Qadr. For one tisbih, can for a thousand tisbih. For one page of Quran, can for a thousand pages of Quran. For one rakat of salah, can for a thousand rakats of salah. And for dua, endless acceptance, no limit. Don't miss out on this great campaign. Do one deed, get back a thousand. For sure, I won't be missing out on this deal. You shouldn't miss out on it too. 
During the last 10 nights of Ramadan, many try to spend the entire time in Itikaf so they will not miss out of the rewards of Laylat al-Qadr. It is not known which night Laylat al-Qadr will occur, except that it will occur on an odd number night. Some choose to spend their days and nights in Itikaf only on the odd number days of the last 10 days of Ramadan, making their Itikaf intentions with each time they enter the masjid. By the way, Itikaf is supposed to be done in the masjid, but due to the circumstances we are in, we can do it in our houses. What to do during Itikaf? Five daily prayers, Taravi, Nafi prayers, read and memorize the Quran, reflect on the meaning of the Quran, read and memorize hadiths, make dua, make zikr, teaching and learning. Which acts nullify itikaf? Wrong intentions, leaving the masjid, house or room, not of sound mind, usage of electronic devices for game or social media, etc., being ill or sick, arguing, gossiping, perfume, cologne, any sinful act, business transactions. Stay focused on your intentions and be free of distractions. Keep in mind that itikaf is not a time to catch up on sleep or to socialize. It is okay to take time to sleep, but don't spend most of your time sleeping. Guard yourself from socializing and general conversations with others at the masjid, house or room. You are at the masjid with the intentions of itikaf, to remove yourself from worldly distractions, not to bring the distractions with you. It is alright to discuss things that would be considered an act of worship, such as getting help from someone to memorize the Quran or Hadiths. Since Itikaf is a time to focus on Allah, be sure that your interactions with others and your own actions reflect the reason for being at the masjid for Itikaf. Do not waste this precious time with your Creator in idle deeds. And I did not create the jinn and mankind except to worship me.